Hello everybody and welcome back to our Journey of Wrestling series where we are doing the wrestling thing in uh, in the Attitude Era. We just had Wrestlemania, which if you didn't watch that, uh, you should definitely go back and watch it. As uh, It turned out to be a pretty good event for us. Not fantastic, but a pretty good event. Um, including that six and a third stars main event match where Stone Cold Steve Austin won the WWF Championship. Um, overall, the show got a four star rating, which is good because we were able to gain 19, just under 20,000 fans for it. We do have four people coming back this or officially coming back now. Uh, the Hardys, Edge, and X Pac are all available to return now. Um, talent request wise, we we're able to complete Animal's talent request as he did win a championship. He's now one half of the tag team champions. Uh, and then we also gained a new talent request, which is that The Undertaker has to win clean and not lose for three months. So Undertaker is going to get booked super goddamn strong. <laughs> um, I don't know. See, and the thing about that is I don't know if I want to put him in a feud. Because if he's going to have to win all of his matches, I'm not going to be able to really do much match-wise between the two without burying somebody. So I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But feud-wise right now, we still have Stone Cold Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels going uh, because, you know, why the hell not? It's hot right now. And we still have a lot of stalemates to go on it. Uh, we still have Chris Jericho and Goldust going on. We have Vader and The Rock still going. They're only about halfway through their staleness. Owen Hart and Mick Foley still going. Just a little under halfway through their staleness. And the Light Heavyweight Championship. Takamichi no Kunchu Funaki is still going as well. So we've got Raw is War happening. We are four shows away from Backlash. Trying to figure out some stuff here. So our European champion no longer has a feud. Uh, we should probably get him into something. Um, Two Cold Scorpio here. Who is a face? I need a heal for him to feud with. Um, I don't want it to be Hunter. Hunter I might need to actually start getting some victories for. Even though he's a weekly sloth. So that's not helpful. But probably need to do that. Can I actually now that I think about this. I didn't bother checking in the last time um that was not what I meant to do there's a there's our champions if you didn't know that already as well we have all faces for champions right now <laughs> right out of Wrestlemania um I think because of our two trainers being used, I don't think I have anybody available to do what I want to do here. I need to hire a new doctor, but the problem is we only have 115 creative points. Uh, and I don't think I have anybody who I can transition. Gerald Briscoe. But I would have to have somebody available to do that training as well. Um, Because the idea would be I need to get that weekly sloth off of Triple H. That is ridiculous for him to have that. Anyway. Alright, so... Two Cold Scorpio. Um, Could feud with Farouk. That could be an interesting little feud there. And he's a giving veteran, so if I want to keep the title on Scorpio, I can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Two Cold Scorpio and Farouk. Um, let's have him start off with a fight. We'll have it where Farouk attacks Two Cold Scorpio backstage for some reason. For a reason unknown. Ooh, I could do headhunting. Maybe Farouk wants Scorpio to join the nation, and Scorpio doesn't want to join the nation. You know what, let's do that. Let's do that. So, Farouk wants Scorpio to end up joining the nation. We'll have to see what happens with that. Alright, so we have X-Pac back. Uh, he enjoys gimmick matches with the entertainer, comedy chops, dedicated wrestler, drug habit. So, 
He should be pretty good for us. He is a heal. Um, we have Edge back, who's neutral. He's two of two. Christian still hurt, so I can't do that. Can't do that team yet. But I do have the Hardy Boys as a team, despite the fact that they have no popularity right now. And uh, no charisma. <laughs> um, but you know what? Start build them up somehow. Let's do a tag match. Let's have them face. <sighs> do I put the Godwins in a match or with them? Quebecers. I do want to start building up the Quebecers and the Legion of Doom. I do like the idea of doing that. Could also put over Godfather and D'Lo in a match against them. Let's have it be the nation. Nation's going to get the victory there. We'll rearrange this in a little bit. Um, Alright, so I do need to start the feud with the Quebecers. If they'll let me. There we go. Quebecers and the Legion of Doom. Let's do title. Demand title shot. Quebecers demand a shot at the titles. New Age Outlaws should probably get a Potentially get a rematch, even though Road Dog has a weekly sloth. Um, he's a weekly sloth over, but we'll see. All right, other matches on the show. Who else was who wasn't used at WrestleMania? I mean, X Pac obviously Could have a match here tonight. They're not being used last night. And Edge could just do X Pac and Edge. Sort this by. Fatigue, real quick. Never mind. Let's not sort it by fatigue because it doesn't want to sort it real quick. <laughs> Every now and then it does this. Every now and then I've noticed it does it just kind of randomly freezes that up there. All right, here we go. Um, maybe we should get Farouk a victory. Get Farouk a victory over Steve Blackman. Since the poor guy can never seem to get a victory on his own. Like, well, not on his own, but he can never seem to get a victory, apparently. Um, yeah, let's do that. Brood Steve Blackman. The Nation are just all over the show right now. Um, obviously, I still have to do all these other segments, too. Let's do a segment with Vader and the Rock. Um, off camera assault. Rock's gonna attack Vader off camera. Um, Austin and Michaels. We're going to do a split interview. Jericho and Goldust. Let's do promo ambush for that one. All right. I have two matches. All my feeds except for... Oh, never mind. Uh, Owen. Uh, Owen and Foley, I need to do something with. Their friendly contest they've got going on. Let's book them in a two on two. Actually, sir. Uh, 10%. 10%. You know, we don't have to put them in a match. We can hold off on that. Let's have them to a 
You know, I don't I don't have a promo battle on the show, so let's do that. We'll just have a back and forth promo battle. Um something for Taka and Funaki. Where are both of their stats right now? Taka is a three and one. Naki is two and two. So I guess he could, I guess. No, because that would hurt that. I guess Funaki could cut a promo. Solo feud promo. I don't know what he's saying because he can't speak English at this point. <laughs> Unless we just pretend that he can. Um, all right. Didn't we have? Do I still have those messages? No. Who's the one who came back? Who were able to change the gimmick for? Might have been Jeff Hardy. We should probably have. Some other matches here. Let's do X Pac taking on that'd be that uh, would it's gonna be a rough match if I ever. And take on Tom Brandy. Take on Brian Christopher. And then let's also have Edge, who is very low on the ladder as well. Edge can go one on one with Try to make it somebody higher up who's not too burnt out. Jared, maybe? Randomly start building up Jared, I guess, whatever, by having him defeat Edge. Yeah, why not? One more segment left. I don't really have a main event right now. Like a big time match. All my main eventers are all mostly fatigued. They're not, I mean, they're not bad enough that they're going to get hurt. That's for sure. That's a random little main event. It's not going to be the main event segment, but like the actual main event, though. That's going to be the split interview between Michaels and Austin. See. Romo ambush. There. Um. Jeff Jordan Edge can be the thing that starts off our show. Match wise, that is. Is 
there. I should move this around with that. I gotta add a few to this one. Let's do a new challenge. Uh, the new challenger. That's fine. Let's start fuse here. I could do it like a Jeff Jarrett Edge feud. Uh, stepping up would be pretty good. Edge looks to try to step up against Jeff Jarrett. Jarrett's not going to be happy that he's getting put into a feud with somebody that low, though. And he's already not happy as it is. Well, whatever. He's going to have to suck it up and deal with it. Alright. This is our show. It's a weird show, but that's our show. It's our post-WrestleMania Raw. Right there. We start off with an off-camera assault. We find out that The Rock is starting off Raw by attacking the new Intercontinental Champion, Vader. Four-star rating. Got 15 E for this story. Good stuff there. The Rock is trying to get back a little bit of momentum after losing the Intercontinental Championship. Gets no popularity boost, though, but I'll still take it. Got some charisma for... I mean... the. Rock is already maxed out charisma-wise, but Vader getting at least 3 XP will help towards this charisma boost as well. Alright, after that, our winning contest, Jeff Jarrett taking on Edge. Um, and Jeff Jarrett's going to get the victory in this one. Starts the feud there. He's not happy about the fact that he's feuding with someone so far down the, the roster, but that's alright. Still three stars, that's not too bad for starting off point for this feud that's not really going to be much of a feud kind of thing. After that, Owen Hart and Mick Foley have a little bit of a promo battle with each other. Talking about WrestleMania. I'm talking about trying to uh, continue to have this friendly contest between the two of them. It's a hot segment. Gets nine heat for the story. As both men get a 20 popularity boost with that almost five star rated segment. Let's go. Good stuff there for those two. That's going to help with Owen's uh, popularity. Shofunaki's in the ring for a promo. And he lists all the ways he's better than Takuma Shinoku. Actually, gained three heat for the story, so that's good. Shofunaki actually gained popularity for it. Just under three star rating, so not bad. A little above average. Shofunaki, not too bad for not too bad of a of a talker, apparently, in this. Steve Blackman and Farouk going at it. Putting Farouk over. Three star rating. That's not too bad. As Farouk gets the victory here. Afterwards, there's a fight that's found backstage between two cold or between Farouk and the European champion, two cold Scorpio. They go through an intense brawl in the VIP catering section. Yeah, wasn't a three star feud or uh start, but still getting it still started off with 38 heat, so I'll take that. Two Cold Scorpio actually got a popularity boost out of that as well for some reason. But uh, there you go, starting that there. Then, right after that brawl, <laughs> the nation goes out and uh takes on the Hardy Boys, and we're going to give the victory to the nation at the moment. Hardy Boys are still young. They'll get there. Two and, a third, two and three fourths star. Uh, as Farouk, as the nation, pick up the victory over the Hardy Boys. Who do get three overness from it? Is that a hot match? Oh. I think it was just because of the Matt Hardy's new extreme superhero gimmick. D. LeBron's overness got up, though, so that's good. Oh, yeah, his gimmick. Oh yeah, his his over or his uh, gimmick progressed too, so that's helpful. After that, the Quebecers demand a shot at the tag team titles. The Legion of Doom answer and raise their pelts. Oof, <laughs> oof! This segment did not do well. <laughs> not even two stars. I definitely should have put a producer focus on this one, but whatever. 
uh, starting that feud, even if it's already got off to a bad start with those two teams. Brian Christopher taking on the returning X-Pac. And X-Pac's going to get the victory. Just under three stars. Not bad. Not too bad there as X-Pac gets the win. Then Chris Jericho is kind of promo when all of a sudden he gets attacked by Goldust. What a cheap attack. Four and a fourth stars. Gained a heat for the story. Good stuff. As Goldust. Basically showing that he's not done with Jericho yet. The main event match of the evening is Billy Gunn taking on Owen Hart. And Owen Hart's going to get the victory. Three and a four stars. Good stuff there. So Owen Hart gets some more popularity. He's getting hot right now. He gets the victory there. And then we have a split interview between Shawn Michaels and the new WWF champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That got under four stars. That's kind of weird, but all right. Uh, both of them got a little happy with that, though. As he gained a four heat for the story. Gained five popularity for Shawn Michaels, too. As the conversation got heated. They verbally attacked each other. Let's see how the show goes. Three and a fourth stars. That's not a great fallout from uh, from WrestleMania. Uh, didn't really build anything up here for some reason. It actually raised the prestige of the Tag Team Championships with that rough feud. So I, you go ahead and figure out how that one works. <laughs> Got three XP for a reputation. We started some new feuds there. Owen and Foley was the only one who had a hot segment. Got 25 creative points. We gained 14.3 fans. I 14.3 thousand, that is. I don't know how we did that one, but sure. Why not? Well, to be fair, Nitro did a two and a half star rated show. So that also might be why we did that. <laughs> that was not a good show from Nitro. Not a good show indeed. So at this point, it feels like with WCW, all we have to do is just do a decent amount of stuff. And have like a decent, at least a little bit better than average show. And we'll win when it comes to battling them. So I guess we just stick with that. So Quebecers in the Legion of Doom, that's only four staleness. Jeff Jarrett Edge is only four staleness. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Where is... I thought I had another one. Oh, for Rugen 2, Cole Scorpio. Duh. Someone's only four still on this as well. All right. Unless they get hot, I guess. All right. So this week on Raw's War, what's our champion looking like? He's just still 12% fatigue. Sean's at zero, though. So let's put Sean in the main event. Get him, um, get him rebounding back from his loss at Mania. Let's have him go in the ring and face Foley. Can't be Undertaker. Undertaker has to win all his goddamn matches. Yeah, let's do Sean and Foley. Sean can get his victory back. We should probably do some sort of segment for that. Um, actually, you know what? We'll do this. Austin solo feud. Austin can talk about Michaels before the main event. Taker sh should be able to have a match. Let's have Taker put some. Let's have Taker go over somebody since he has to win from now on, apparently. Just start putting them against people who clearly are far enough down that it does not matter if they take a loss to him. Miguel Perez, step on up. <laughs> That's a segment of match. Miguel Perez can step on up in this one. So we have to put the Undertaker over cleanly for everything. I'm not even gonna. I don't. I don't even know if I want to put him in a feud because he has to go over cleanly with everything 
Might just keep him out of a feud for the moment. Just give him a bunch of wins. Um, alright. Raider's still kind of fatigued. Rock's not, though. I wanted to do Kane and... Honestly, I kind of wanted to do Kane and Taker, but... I don't want to put... I don't want to have Kane, like, lose every single match against Undertaker there. Kane should be in a feud with somebody, though. I just don't know who. I don't really have a face that's up high enough that's not in a feud right now. <laughs> put Kane in a feud with Mark Merrill. Actually, what's Kane's fatigue at? Or Morale at 72. So, I mean, if Rikishi did get built up somewhat by that feud. Not a lot, but somewhat. Even if he has lost his last three matches. Um, all right. What's Jericho and Goldust fatigue? Six percent. Zero percent. Should have Goldust. Let's have Goldust get a victory so we can keep building up him up a little bit. We go for Thrasher and Mosh. I don't know why they still have so much popularity right now. Terry Funk has five appearances left. I could have him go against Terry Funk. See that? That's not what I clicked. That is not what I clicked. Moved on me at the last second there. Goldust and Terry Funk. And you know what? Because I don't think I've done it in this feud yet. Oh, I have. Never mind. All right, well. Um, what else could I do for that? Yeah, Force Retreat. That works. That works. Alright. Um. Vader and the Rock. Vader can't wrestle. I mean, he could. He's not too... He's a little more fatigued than I'd like. Rock, I think, is fine. 3%, yeah. Well, Vader's at 8%. Let's do... You know, Farouk just wrestled last week. Let's do a tag. Doing the tag thing. Rock and Farouk. Taking on Vader and two Cold Scorpio. Both feuds there. Let's also have Someone's not going to be happy about this, but I don't care. Oops. No, I don't stop that. All right, cool. Can I? No? No? Cool. All right. Every now and then. It's fine. Uh, anyway, Hawk. And here all the way we'll do that see what happens here um
So Jared and Edge will be my promo battle of the week. Um... Their champion looking, or light heavyweight champion that is Taka. See about him possibly defend the title tonight. Oh, perfect. Defend the title against one of the other members. Men's tail and who else is in that group? Is it just Funaki and Teo? Dick Togo. Where's Dick Togo? Oh, that's right. He got hurt again. All right. Well, Men's Teo that in. Men's Teo it is. Well, anyway, title will be on the line. This uh, website is running a little slow today. Just a little bit. All right, I have two segments left. Um, who do I have available for stuff? could squash somebody if I wanted or I could simply wait on that one Triple H Triple H you're going to be part of a promo I do. Triple H, Owen Hart, Mick Foley. That's not what I was going to help. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Is it just called? Yeah, it's just talk show. Triple H is going to hold a, host a talk show. He's going to try to egg on Foley and Owen into fighting each other. Um, I should try This Is My Life for somebody. Let's do a local squash for somebody. Um, who has the entertainment skills to be able to do this? I could do Road Dog. Even though he has weekly slot, that doesn't mean he can't squash somebody. Maybe Sable Sable just randomly squashes somebody. I like the idea of it being like a heel. Who's not already working? Kurgan, maybe. Really not doing anything with Kurgan because he has one work rate. Let's see if we can't build up Kurgan so we can trade him away for somebody better. <laughs> um, let's see that that. Yeah, this works. <laughs> Build Kurgan up so we can trade him the hell away. Love it. All right. Talk show. We got Triple H in the ring for a talk show. Inviting Owen Hart and McFoley's guests. They exchanged some words before starting a brawl. Triple H unable to stop him. 
I only got one heat for the for the feud. But it was almost four stars. Foley got seven popularity and one moverness out of this for some reason. So good for him. Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. Takamichinoku retains against Men's Teo. Three stars. Not too bad. Taka getting the victory there. Another title defense for him. Afterwards, Shofunaki shows up and attacks the champion. Leaves him laid out. Oof. Didn't do great. But it did gain two heat for the story. So there's that. And I got some XP for Charisma. So we can... Dude, if we... Like, Taka's only 24 years old. If I can start slowly building up his Charisma, he could end up being a fucking monster for us. <laughs> he's already a three-star work rate, and he's 24. And he's already over 600 popularity. Like, if I can keep building up his Charisma, I could easily make him Intercontinental Champion in the future. Easily. Kurgan calls out anyone for a match. He gets some local superstar Nathan Douglas and he squashes him. Two and a half stars. He's getting four popularity for Kurgan. So there's something at least. Got him at least something. <laughs> Can't uh, promise much, but I might have to start doing the local squash every week. Just to start trying to get more people over. After that, Jeff Jarrett and Edge are in the ring with Mike's. Uh, apparently they insult. They line insult after insult at each other's families. Only two and a half stars, but it again two heat for the story, so that's that. Edge got four popularity out of that too, and 1.5 overness, so can't go wrong there. So clearly Edge won the promo battle of insulting each other's families. I don't know how that went, but uh, there was that. And with Pierre and Hawk going at it, again, Hawk's going to be pissed about this because we're putting Pierre over, so that way we can make... The challengers seem like they have a chance. Hawk lost five morale, but he's at 83 morale right now, so that's fine. Uh, just short of three stars. That's not too bad. Pierre got 11 popularity, so that's good. Uh, no heat for the story, though. Meh. Is what it is. Then we have Rock and Farouk taking on a Two Cold Scorpio and Vader here. Um... I don't really super care who wins. It doesn't really matter too much to me because, I mean, story-wise, it's going to make sense for either side to win. So let's simulate it. See what happens. The Nation of Domination win. Oh, almost four stars. Gain a half a star for crowd interest. Got four heat for both story, for both uh, feuds going on. As Rock and Farouk defeat two cold Scorpio and Vader. Uh, so can't go wrong there. Good stuff. And after that, Goldust goes over Terry Funk. Just under three stars there. Afterwards, though, Goldust eh, ignored the text. Essentially what happened here is Goldust is in the ring bragging about everything when Jericho comes down and chases him off, essentially. Uh, I don't remember which one is which, though. Like, I think if I... I think whoever I click on is the one that's retreating. Goldust is the one who's retreating. So we'll see what happens here. Nope. Should have been the other way. That's alright. There's a few of these that are, like, lined up wrong. But that's fine. Coldus lost five popularity for that. That was a two-star rated segment. What the hell happened with that segment? Good lord. All right, well, Coldus lost five popularity. He gained six popularity from the match and then went and lost five popularity with the segment. So he really only gained one popularity on the night. <laughs> Oof. That, uh, that did not do good. Maybe if I clicked on Jericho, maybe it would have done better, I guess. I don't know. All right, Undertaker wins clean because he's supposed to win clean for the next three months now. I got three and a quarter stars. <laughs> Miguel Perez getting carried to a three and a quarter star rated matchup by the Undertaker. Uh, that's funny. Undertaker's not at four or not at three stars for work rate, so 
doing these, even if it's very slow XP gain, could be a good thing. Stone Cold is in the ring for a promo before the main event, and apparently he brings up Shawn Michaels' family. We'll say he brought up uh, DX instead, called DX a bunch of freaking losers, and that if Michaels wants to continue having this battle, he'll have no problem hitting him with another stunner and defeating him and still remaining the WWF champion. Four and a fourth stars. Gain five heat for the story. Good stuff there. Main event. Sees Shawn Michaels taking on Mick Foley. And we are going to put Shawn Michaels over. Even though we didn't, we don't really need to. But he's... Like, putting Foley over would be big. Um, getting a lot more popularity. But we're on the chance of pissing off Shawn for it. And also, it would be kind of weird for him to drop the title. And then take a loss to Mick Foley at this point. So we'll get Shawn in the victory. Ooh, four to four stars. Half a star for smooth performances. Good stuff. Sean gets the victory. Very strong main event there. We'll see what happens here with this episode. So, three and a quarter stars again. Not too bad. Got 25 creative points for it. Just got to keep slowly getting overness and popularity for some of our wrestlers. Uh, our overness decreased for the company-wise, so that's not good. And we lost XP, which means we probably lost fans this week. None of our segments... Uh, our segments got XP, but none of them are leveled up yet. Solo Feud promo is getting close, though. We get another person doing a good Solo Feud promo, and that should bump that up to Silver Star. We lost 15.4 fans this week. 15.4k, that is. Um, but we have more viewers than Nitro, so there's that. As the Japan companies tore it up this week. All right. Why is it going to load? There we go. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. Book two weeks of raw there and uh next episode we'll be booking the go home apps the uh, go home weeks for backlash and kind of going from there so thank you all for watching definitely appreciate it and we'll catch you in a future video